normally a very private person. I own national mail order business and my husband and I are retired dairy farmers. Holy cow, it got quiet in here all of a sudden. <laughs> I own a national mail order business known as the Soap Lady, which is now in its 37th year. Jim and I are retired dairy farmers and we're married 41 years. We have three children, six grandchildren, and the last thing on earth that I ever thought I would do is run for Senate, much less run against Scott Fitzgerald. But I felt compelled to do so out of my sense of fairness. What is happening right now in our government is just plain not fair. Right now, what's going on is, if you have lots of money, your word, your vote, is worth more than mine. That's not right, it's not fair, and so my very first and top priority, as your senator, is to work to overturn Citizens United. My second priority is to get the union's right to bargaining back. Yeah. Yeah. why that's important, but as a business owner, and as the mother of a business owner, I can tell you that when employees do not have a voice at the table, they don't feel responsible for the success of that business. When employees do have a voice at the table, they feel far more responsible for the success of that business. That goes for public workers, it goes for private workers, it goes for industry. If a worker, if an employee has a voice at the table, they are better and more responsible and happier and healthier workers. All good things. Another priority I have is creating jobs. For me in this state, it's very simple. One, support entrepreneurship. Second, support improvement of our infrastructure. If we make cell phone access and internet access equal across the state, small businesses will be able to grow. Our best entrepreneurs are living out in the middle of nowhere and they have no cell phone or internet access. This makes no sense. We had the same stupid fight with electricity in the 50s. We don't need to do it again. We need to restore Wisconsin's long-held right to local control. Act 10 not only took away your rights to bargain, it also took away the school board's right to bargain with you. Now all the orders for running our school boards or running our school districts come from the governor's office. And we all know, at least I think we all know everybody in this room, that he doesn't have our best interests in mind. We need to have equal pay for equal work. I can't believe Congress had another opportunity to vote on that yesterday and failed. Every single Republican, including women, including women congresspersons, voted down equal right for equal pay. We need to do something about this. And the best thing you can do, if you like me, if I've impressed you as a good candidate, you have to talk to your neighbors. We have to stop being afraid to say we're Democrats out loud. Thank you. And the last, not not least significant, but the last thing we have to do is protect everyone's right to vote. That should be perfectly obvious after what happened just this past week. So again, if it's important to you that everybody should be able to have a right to vote, then we have to do more than go vote. We have to talk to others, help them get to vote. If they don't have IDs, help them get it. There are people in nursing homes who can't do it by themselves. If you can't help, find somebody who can. We can't sit down and sit back anymore and think that it's good enough that we go to the polls. We have to get everybody else out there too. Thank you.